guys, it's Hopefully Chan, and I'm back with another manga review. And this manga review is of a manga that I got a couple months ago from a series that I'm in love with and wanted to see the story end. Uh, and it's still like, I need to see if they have like a third one because the story hasn't ended yet. And it is driving me insane because they only have two mangas. But it is an amazing story. I have done the review on the first part of the first kind of series, the beginning series of this. And I will have it in the comment section, or not in the comment section, but in the description below if you want to see the first one. Just because the story leads on to this one. And to tell you the truth, I really do love this. This is amazing. It is one of my more favorite loves. And it's also kind of the newer ones that Clamp released, but I didn't know if Clamp maybe went on hiatus or they're gone. So I don't know, but I know this is new and I'm in love. I, I can't believe it. I'm happy about this. So what's the one that I'm talking about? What is this? What is it? If you see the title of the video, you know. But you don't know about it. It is Drug and Drop, which I bought the second one first because I didn't have the first one, which was really, really sad. But I do own the first one on my Kindle. So I have read both of these books, and there's two of them. I don't know if there's a third one. They usually have a trifecta, so it's usually three. And it still follows our main characters, which is Ryu and... Oh, thank goodness, I can't remember. What is your name? Kazahira, right? Yeah. Kazahaya. I'm gonna go with that. So, Ryuko and Kazahaya are still living and working at the drugstore. Which, if you haven't seen my review for Legal Drug, this is technically its secondary of Legal Drug, Drug and Drop, which is funny. And they have like a pot leaf. I do not condone the smokage of pot. And I'm not like, oh my god, you got smoke. But just be safe. Just be safe. Um, so this is still following those characters from those ones. And they're going through the supernatural and stuff like that. Which the funny thing is, is this one links with more of the Clamp universe. I almost think this is like touching upon almost every clamp thing because there is a little angel from one of their clamp works so in the clamping universe it's kind of almost like a connecting binder almost um because they meet from holic watanuki who in this is spoilers the shop owner and yuko is gone so he owns the shop now and uh he Rikyo? Rikyo. I, I'm going to call him Rikyo and Kazahaya. Go and meet him, and they want he wants them to help this person be freed out of this house. And the house in and of itself is really run down and everything, and they find this being. And so they kind of set him free, but kind of at a cost. And Kazahaya's sister is more developed in this one and you find out that there's something wrong with her because he saw the past where she saw the future and they kind of were raised in this village you find more story backstory about them too which i'm very happy about but they came from a village that almost kind of worshipped them and people would come so that they'd see the future and see the past and kind of stuff like that and kaisa kaisa didn't want to do that anymore, so he ran off, and his sister is kind of stalking him, which Ryuk Ryuko's sister, Riko's, Riko's, Riko's sister, seems to be connected with Kazahaya's sister, and it's just really crazy. Like, this one just goes nuts about Kazahaya's backstory and his sister and stuff like that, so it is explaining more in these two. I need to double check if there's a third one. Because there was three of Legal Drug. I'm really hoping there was three of this one. Um, but it's still drawn beautifully. 
And the funny thing is, is you find out that, like, the main caretakers of this place are, like, angels. And they've been trying to take care of these boys and try and guard them from evil and stuff like that. Which seems like Kazai's sister. Um, but it is such a good story. And you meet, like I said, you meet more of Clamp's characters in these two volumes. So I'm really, really almost thinking that these two, like this franchise, this series, Legal Drug and Drug and Drop, are like the center almost of the Clamp universe and everything connects to them. Or they're just really supernatural and a lot of things like to tie into there. So... I really like it. It's really, really cool. And I would definitely, if you've read Drug and, or Legal Drug, I would definitely recommend reading Drug and Drop because it is the combination and continuation of Legal Drug. This is, once again, more for, like, over 18 people because of how kind of graphic it gets. Um, so, 18, but guys and girls, this story is amazing. And I am way too happy that they continued this. Like, I'm over the moon. And learning more about these characters and more about their past, I'm like, I'm in love. So, I wanted more from Legal Drug. But I was content with just having them the way they are. I even bought the Omnibus, which is the thicker one, which has all three volumes in it. I bought that one. But I still have the original three volumes. So, Clamp's just getting my money left, right, and center, because I love this stuff. I love almost all of the Clamp universe, and I really have, I almost want to do, like, a theory that, like, this is the center of it all, and that, uh, Cardcaptor Sakura, Holic, um, Tsubaki? I can't remember how to say it. Uh, Wish and another of their clamp thing basically all revolves around either the same world or all revolves around legal drug and drug and drop because of how many cameos and stuff like that is put on into this. And I almost think, I almost think whoever makes this, like these ones, are literally like trying to cram in as many Easter eggs into the clamp universe, into these. That they can. I really think so. So I would recommend it if you've read Legal Drug to read these ones because it is a continuation. Guys or girls, over 18 though, because it is a big graphic. So if you like this video, definitely leave a like below. Comment below if you've read any of these or if you've read anything from Clamp or watched anything from Clamp. And the funny thing is, is like if they did an anime of Legal Drug and Drug and Drop, I would watch it so hard. Uh, comment below if you think Clamp should do more anime, too. Yeah. And definitely, definitely subscribe, because I do make videos every day of either anime or manga, and I try and bring fresh stuff to you guys, and some older classics that you may not have known about, or you may have. You never know! So I do hope, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. It's sunny and it's picking up the warmth. I can only hope that it continues to be warm. Wolfie Chun, out. Bye, guys.